Hey, friends, welcome. I am so glad you're here today. Uh, we're going to talk about how much food do we need for the holidays, like for our side dishes? How much turkey do we need? Mashed potatoes, uh, any side? How much pie? Like, how much pie is going to feed eight people, 13 people, 15, 20? We're going to talk about that today. I'm going to share a lot of tips with you guys, and I am so excited to get your input. So, if you're live, leave your tips and tricks in the comments. And if you're watching the replay, leave them in as well, because uh, we are going to need all the help we can get this holiday season. So if you're planning Thanksgiving, or if you live across the pond, and you're trying to gear up for the holidays, our community's got you covered. So I'm so glad you're here. I hope you guys can hear me. I am using a new microphone. So let me know if the quality is good. And uh, yeah, and we'll get going. Are you guys excited for Thanksgiving? Now, my last live show, if you didn't catch it, we talked about uh, how to get prepared like three to four weeks before Thanksgiving. I know this is technically three weeks, I think, if I'm looking at the calendar right. Um, so we're going to go over, as you're planning your menus, uh, how much food do you need, okay? So, oh yeah, so let's, let's get going. Because I know you guys are like watching the sales and looking at the pricing and you want to know, can I get a good deal too with all this food I'm going to buy? So I sound great. Good. I got a new microphone, so I'm really happy. But I'm using the, not my webcam, so I'm hoping the quality is good because it's the same input. Anywho, you don't need to know that. And Mr. Toodles is not here. He's out of town. He comes back tonight to wash his laundry so we could fly out to the Carolinas for our our uh holiday getaway so it's a little bananas around here but i am so glad to be here talking with all of you so look at all of you awesome okay so what i'm gonna do is i since i don't have derek here to help me um i am going to get a link to the website so you guys can have that I'm working on a fun ebook for you guys. I was hoping to have it done for today's live, um, but it's not. So give me through the weekend and you should have it next week. So come back to this live and all you future people watching this. I have an ebook that I'm working on for you. It's a Thanksgiving ebook. You are going to get so much fun stuff in there. I was hoping to have it done, but you know, you could, I'm not an octopus. Wouldn't that be fantastic? So um, let me leave this. This is the link to my shop. So if you're interested in the planners, in the planners, we have the Thanksgiving uh, schedule for you guys. So that's all in there. All right, let's get going on these tips. Oh, I don't want to ban me from the chat. That was hilarious. I must ban me, you guys. That is hilarious. So I started, does that mean it's a star pin? Oh, well. All right, so the big question is how much turkey? Now, I know we talked about this on our last live, but there is so many different results that I have seen online. And mainly the biggest thing that I have seen is one pound of turkey, did I say chicken? One pound of turkey per person. I know that at least on the day, I don't eat a pound. But I think if you're trying to think of like leftovers, then a pound, you know, is about right. So, oh, I didn't bring my water bottle over. Water. Do you guys have your coffee, tea, drink, grab a snack? Mm. Yum. Oh, Monica. Monica is not excited for the holidays when trying to get in the mood. Isn't it funny how our mood, it's it's so weird. Like last year was a weird year for me. This year, I'm trying to get into the the feels of it. It's just, I think it's different as the kids get older. It's really weird. Like Halloween was weird. There was nobody here. Like the two younger kids were off at friends' homes and we were left here alone. And Derek and I were like, what do we do with ourselves? Like. Is this the new phase we're in? I don't like it. I don't like it. Anyway, Cindy says, I never eat a lot of turkey, mostly the sides I crave. I do love the turkey. I'm like a dark meat person, like big time. Uh, leave a number one in the comments if you're dark meat. And number two, 
if you're the white meat. I'm dark meat. Give me a turkey leg. Give me the thigh. Um, I'm all about the dark meat. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't mind the white meat, but if that turkey is dry, forget it. Forget it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Panda says seven months pregnant, trying to nest and plan for the holidays. It's crazy. But man, you get so much done. Um, we, okay. So my youngest daughter was born in December, like very close to Christmas, like days, you guys, like days. And so when I was nesting, I like, I had Christmas shopping done. I had all the gifts wrapped and put in these Rubbermaid bins in the basement. And we came home from the hospital Christmas Eve. And all we had to do was like, take everything out. Like even stockings, like they were all done. We just had to take out place. It was fantastic. And I've always tried to like do that every year since then. And it's never happened. The power of being pregnant and nesting is unreal. It's unreal. Um, I think there's a way I could do polls through StreamYard. I'll have to figure this out one day because I know we could do polls. We'll we'll figure that for another time. But um, but I am seeing, oh my gosh, two a lot of twos. Oh, there's some ones there. Next time I go live, I'll make sure I can figure out how to poll because I think, like, honestly, having a poll would be super cool to see. Well, there's a lot of light meat. Um, all right. Yes. Here's a tip on your turkey from Blue Ridge Prepper. Put your turkey breasts, your turkey breast side down like Tara. We love it. Yes. I have been, whenever we bake a turkey, which is not very often, like ever since we got a smoker, smoking a turkey is our thing. We love it. And, um, and so, but when I, whenever I bake it, it's breast side down. Absolutely. It just stays moist. It does not get dried out at all. Oh my goodness, Amber. I am cooking for 21 this year. Give me the best tips to prep ahead. Oh, there, I've, I have so many. Oh, okay. So when I was mentioning um, the ebook, guys, in this ebook that I'm working on for you, there's a shopping guide. There's turkey tips, hosting tips, recipes, leftovers. There's so much in there. And um, I thought I was going to get it done for today, and I don't. So hold on. It's coming. And um, and it's free. So you can snag that and go. Um, but the biggest thing is uh, make sure that you get your turkey ahead of time. As soon as, you know, if you see a price that you like and you're like, all right, let's just go for it snag your turkey. Um, uh, I don't think there's going to be any, any shortages this year. You guys, there's so many, there's so much crap running around. You're going to be fine. I promise you. Okay. So turkey one pound per person. Um, but then, okay. So how big of a bird? I, I get mixed communications a lot with a bird. Yes. You need to factor in that the majority of the bird is bones. So, um, but if you are serving four people, that's five pounds of turkey. Six people, eight pounds. Uh, 10 people, around 13 pounds. 12, 15. 15 people, 20 pounds. Uh, 20 people, 25 pounds. 25 people, 32 pounds. Um, or you can get uh, two small birds and then they can cook up faster for you. Um, Sometimes we'll do just two smaller birds because we notice that the bigger the bird, the more more likely it could go dry, just depending on how you prepare it. Like I said, we smoke our turkeys now. Um, if you'd like to see me roasting a turkey, I do have a video after this live. I'll leave it down below for you. Um, it's funny because the only thing I forgot to do in that video is to tie her leg or his legs together. Whatever. It turned out fine. So... All right, let's go back to your comments. Let's see. Stephanie, I'm kind of nervous for, um, at this is my first Thanksgiving to host and I'm 50. This is exciting. I love hosting. Like I'd rather have everything here than go out. I don't know. Yes, there's a lot of work and it's stressful, but I get more things done in the home. Like things get clean, things get organized. So if I can ever have the party come here, I'm doing it. So 
uh, it's all going to go well. And take help from people, okay? When your guests come and if they say, what can I do for you? you give them something to do. And you can already have some ta uh, tasks already planned for them. You know, put them in charge of, I don't know, getting all the condiments out or, um, you know, getting the butter out on the table, the rolls and the bowls. Like, give them something, okay? Put them to work. If they're offering, put them to work. Um, it's hard to find small turkeys. We just do a, a chicken. Yeah, you could do two chickens. I mean, it's it's honestly, yes, the turkey's like the big main event of Thanksgiving for most of us. But honestly, I am a side dish lover. Like, give me there. There's got to be green bean casserole. I don't care if it's made fresh or with all from a can. I don't care. There's got to be green bean casserole. For sure. So, ooh, Harvey's has turkeys on sale for 49 cents a pound. That's really good. I've never heard of Harvey's. I've never heard of Harvey's. Um, oh, no. Peggy says, when I was newly married and made my first turkey, forgot to remove the bag of gizzards. Oh, dang. Dang. I remember when we pulled that bag out. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have a video. Uh, it's one of our Thanksgiving videos, one of our many, many Thanksgiving videos. <laughs> they pulled out the neck and the gizzards, and Jonah had the neck. And Callie, my oldest daughter, said to my second son, who's Jonah, uh, it's a boy. And it was hilarious. And and then Callie thought about it and she's like, wait a minute, is that for real? And we're like, no, that's the neck. It was hilarious. So it's on one of our many Thanksgiving videos with the kids. And it's just hilarious. Oh my gosh. Hello, England. Hello, Julie. So yes, I am going live earlier than I usually do because I have so much to do to get ready to get on an airplane tomorrow. So, uh, much to do. So I'm excited to be with you here to like right now in the afternoon. So we'll see how this works out for everybody. Cranberry salsa and raspberry pretzel salad are amazing. Yes. Can't have Thanksgiving without it. Okay. So one of the things that has helped me over the years with how much to prepare, I mean, it hasn't, it doesn't help that um, I have an Italian mom who loves to cook and has to have every like vegetable on the table. Like no joke. There's squash. There's corn, there's broccoli, um, like every vegetable you could think of my mom has out. It's hilarious. So I grew up with like, you prepare a lot. It's better to have more than not enough, right? So I, yeah, so I always go overboard too, but it's fun. So one book that I found, I don't even know how many years ago, you guys, it could be over five years ago. I'm not sure, six, seven, is um, this book by Sidney Klein, Feeding the Masses. This is so good. I will leave uh, a link for you after this is over. Sorry, guys. Much going on. Um, yes, weather, weather, Monica says. Okay, guys, I am planning to go live with my mom next week. I asked, I said, Mom, would you like to go live? Well, I'm out here and she's like, maybe. And so I think I got her to come on. She's been on live with me before and on video. So if you're new to my channel, my mom is awesome. And so we're going to be talking uh, all about Thanksgiving and yeah. Yeah. So this book is great. I'll leave this down below. This helps me a lot when I'm, we do any type of party, holiday parties, anything. And so what, one thing that has helped me over the years, and maybe this will help you is that after every function that you have, after every get together, leave notes like in your planner or on your phone, um, how it went. What did you have too much of? What did what were you lacking? Um, make notes of the event. Uh, I started doing this when we were planning our Bear Lake trips. I would come back from Bear Lake like, whoa, we didn't need so much of this or this. So that's when I started this whole thing. So keep a notebook, a journal, a, a planner, and uh, track it, okay? And that's like one thing that's going to help you. Um, especially, you know, just from your own experience. So, um, so I hope that helped your turkey. What have you guys noticed with your turkey that like feeds people? Mary says that Food Lion right now has it for 59 cents a pound with $35 food purchase. I love that. 
Um, like last year, Winco, you got a free turkey if you bought like a hundred and something dollars worth of groceries. I'm like, no problem. I could do that. No problem. Oh yeah, Mary, love stuffing. Me too, love stuffing. I have to have stuffing. Yes. Yep. How do you plan for three adults, me and my husband and mother-in-law? We do not eat a lot and I'm okay with some leftovers, but there's a lot. Okay. Yes. If you don't want a lot of leftovers, especially if there's two um, of you or three of you, cook for cook for two because there's usually more for two people. Um, so instead of a whole bird, I would get a rotisserie chicken like or um, bake up a chicken in your oven instead of a whole turkey um, or just cook up a turkey breast. Uh, I know in the stores you can get turkey wings separate. You can get uh, turkey legs separate. Um, they're a little more money. Um, or maybe instead of a turkey, you cook up a small portion ham. Um, and then plan ahead of like what you could use those leftovers for. Uh, so mashed potato. Okay, let's let's do mashed potatoes. Let's go to that one because that's usually the next thing on my mind besides turkey is uh, the mashed potatoes. All right. Uh, which page do I have that on? I have so much stuff for you. Okay. So some places that I've seen about six ounces for each person. Um, that's about three fourths cup. Okay. Um, and for any other like veggie, go with four ounces per person. I love mashed potatoes and you could freeze mashed potatoes. Like they freeze up beautifully. You guys, um, I, I never too worried about mashed potatoes. We love the leftovers. We love having Thanksgiving, um, like the next day. So I'm always for it. Um, let's see. Well, see, it's interesting. Like I said, everywhere I look online, where I get my information, it's so different. Uh, and here she has 15 pounds for 25 people. That's a whole bird. It just, that just, nothing. I'm going to say no on that one. I'm going to say no on that one. What do you think? Do you think um, Sydney's calculations are correct? 15 pounds for 25 people? I don't think so. Uh, Oh my gosh. Jenny is cooking for 22. Yeah, that's a big group. I, but I think we're about that. Like with my sister-in-law and all the grandkids, I think we're about that. Yes, Amber. That's the only bummer part. When you smoke the turkey, uh, your gravy, you miss out on the drippings. Yeah. That's why I have to make gravy. And I have a make-ahead gravy recipe. I'll leave it below. It is so good, and I actually got it from one of you guys. You, um, you mailed it out to me, and it is so good. Um, yes, but you can make stock from a smoked turkey, like at the grocery store. That's exactly what I do. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Uh, okay, let's see here. Um. All right. So again, what do you think of Cindy's um, thoughts on a turkey? The 15 pounds for 25 people. I oof, oof. That makes me worry. I, I don't think that's enough. I don't. But I could be wrong. Okay. And then, so vegetables. Um, yeah, mashed. You could do a half cup a serving or three fourths cup a serving. Uh, they say for 25 people, you'll need about 25 potatoes. So a potato a person. Hmm. I don't know, with Thanksgiving. Do you guys eat a lot of mashed potatoes as a side dish? I mean, I have a good portion on my plate. I like to get like a bite of the turkey with the mashed potatoes, with the gravy on it. And just like, kind of like, a, I'm never just like a one bite person. It's like, I kind of stack my fork. Oh, good. Good thought. 
Jenna uh, is being served with ham too. Maybe she has more than one meat. Well, she's putting it as a single. So, but I just, I don't know. Oh, good. Stephanie, I stacked you. Yay. Uh, 15 pounds could be enough depending on what else you're cooking. That's true. That's true. We usually get, for Monica, we usually get a 22 pounder for 17 people. That's good. Um, yeah, Allie, not everyone likes turkey though. That is so true. When we do the big group, we do, we usually do a ham and a turkey. So, um, yeah. Okay. So Mary says not enough turkey. Yeah. Samantha. I I always every year forget something. My kids have waiters on what I forgot. Yeah, get that list out. Get it already like tacked to your fridge or your cupboard. Tape it. Uh I know there was one year, was it 2020 in that video? I almost forgot to cook. Was it the stuffing? I almost forgot to cook something. It's in that video. I think it's the 2020 Thanksgiving. I almost forgot to cook one of our go-tos. Um, yeah, so a lot of you are saying too small. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's too small. Okay, then. Oh, Nikki remembers that video. Yeah. Gosh. Are you talking about the neck one or the, the mashed potato or the forgetting something? All right. Um, and then. When it comes to stuffing, how much stuffing do you want? I love stuffing. I can eat that all the time. Okay. Um, plan to serve about three to four cup per guest. I think that's pretty spot on. Like if you want to be direct, no leftovers, that's, yeah. But, you know, the next day, I love, like, taking the leftover rolls, putting some turkey in, putting some cranberry sauce, and putting a little layer of mashed potatoes with the gravy, and then stuffing. So I've got this little, from friends, Ross, his, uh, what was his, the name of his sandwich? The Moist Maker? <sighs> yes, stuffing goes in a big pan. I agree, Cindy. Yep. You got to make that big. You got to make a lot of that. Okay, Kim, no, I have never had oyster dressing. Okay, well, no. I don't think I've ever had it from a restaurant. No, and I want to. I've never had it. I want to. It sounds amazing. Um, We call it dressing. Uh If it's in the turkey, it's stuffing. Okay, yeah, we, we had this discussion um, on our my last live and I couldn't remember what the consensus was. So stuffing, if it's in the turkey, that makes more sense because you're stuffing. Um, I don't know if my mom, I think my mom's doing a turkey. No, we're doing two turkeys this year, two turkeys. Um, we've got a big group. Oh my gosh, how many? I was just on the phone with my sister the other day on who's in charge of what. And we've got a really big group. There's like four of us. Mom and dad, that's six. And then Ashley, Tommy, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's twelve so far. And then my brother. And then her friends, sixteen, and then her aunt. I think we might have between seven, seventeen to nineteen people. I think that's what we're planning. 17 to 18 people. So that'll be fun. And um, I am filming Thanksgiving at my sister's. I didn't have Friendsgiving this year, you guys. <laughs> Feels so weird. Feels so weird. But I still want to do one. But I think what we'll do is do a holiday dinner um, or a New Year's dinner. But I got to get everyone together for dinner. We have so we have too much fun during the years. Um, yes. 
So Jeanette, also, if you have the kind of family members we have, people are going to take home plates. We have to have extra meat. I know it's, especially if you're not the hostess and you're, you're keeping it all right. Like I'm always craving the meal again the next day. So I say it's fine having the leftovers and they last like they'll last you a good three or four days. Like honestly, my father made the best sausage cornbread stuffing. That sounds amazing. Okay. So, um, so that was on your stuffing. Um, well, how many side dishes do you usually have at Thanksgiving? That's a good question. We usually have like our traditional, unless we're trying something new or whatever, we do the mashed potatoes, green bean casserole, sweet potatoes, um, the raspberry pretzel salad, which I'm going to make when I'm out there. But we usually do the best is red cabbage. Uh, I'll do a cranberry sauce. Well, that's not really a side dish. Um, sometimes a squash. Sometimes. Get potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, between eight or nine sides. Just depends. And then what everyone else brings. Oh, and I learned how to make creamed corn last year. <gasps> I definitely want to make it for my family when we're out there. So, but I like using the fresh corn in the cob because um, every fall I cut the corn off the cob and freeze it. And so I'm sure I can, can get corn on the cob out in the Carolinas, right? So I really want to make fresh creamed corn. It is delicious. And I'm, I can't wait for my dad to try it because he loves, he likes canned cream corn. So if he likes canned cream corn, I know he's going to love normal cream corn. So I make four. We are Italian and we start with an, an antipasto. Yes, I know, right? <gasps> yes, so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, slaw. You have to have slaw. Do you guys have mac and cheese? I know a lot of people need to have mac and cheese. It's so fun to see like what are your like main go-tos. It's so fun. <laughs> Too many. I know, but that's like the fun part, Cassandra. That is like the fun, yummy part. I love it. Hello, Jeff. I'm glad you caught us too. Oh, you're at the salon waiting for your color to process. That's awesome. I was just at the salon yesterday having my hair fixed. Uh, it was too bright when I went a couple of weeks ago. Like the fronts, the lights, parts here were like almost looked gray. I was going to wear my hair down for you today, but like seriously, this has been my day today. Cleaning packing, filming. So this is my color for the Thanksgiving holiday. It looks different on camera. I got like more of the caramel color in and some darker and I got a trim. It looked really good yesterday. I was hoping to film. It didn't happen. So do you guys get like a fresh cut and color before the holidays? Yes, Panda. Lots of pies. Oh my gosh. Everyone brings a pie or two. Like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. I make eight pies every year. My family jokes, it's like I'm the pie person. Oh, a pie per person. Yes, pie for breakfast the next day. Yeah, we're not a stranger to that. That's for sure. Oh my gosh. Yum. Hello, Helen from England. Oh my gosh. Corn pudding casserole is good side dish. Is that like cream corn? Corn pudding? That's my guess. My guess. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Tiffany. Oh my gosh. I'm actually going to be calling you next week. I have, yeah, I'm going to be calling you. I need some help. In fact, I might be contacting some of you. Some of you, um, I, I need some help with something. So anywho, um, 
Sweet potato pie is delicious. Yes. Yes, it is. Ooh. I do traditional Portuguese sides, roasted potatoes, chorizo, carrots, Portuguese stuffing, corn, and peas. Mm, that sounds amazing. Amazing. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, appetizers. So if you are... My screen keeps moving. Okay, so for appetizers, plan on five five people. Well, like depends on what it is. If it's a dip, you might have to go by tablespoons or ounces uh, per person. Um, Okay, so if you're doing just like single serving like appetizers, do like one per person, depending on what it is. If you know it's something like people are going to go for a couple more. Uh, if you're doing 10 to 20 people, two to three per person. Um, but I usually don't make anything for an appetizer that's like single, like grab and like go. It's usually like you spread it on something, you dip it on something. You know, um, and then do you guys drink wine? I, I don't drink, so I don't know this. Hi, <laughs> Nikki. Yes, Nikki says the neck one. I know that was a funny video. Uh, uh, I don't drink, so I don't know how much alcohol that you're going to need. Um, but from this information that I have, five people three bottles, 10 people, six bottles, and 20 people, 12 bottles. Does that sound right? Hi, Canada. Yes, you had your Thanksgiving last month, huh? <laughs> so fun. Oh, yeah, small quiches, hand quiches. Um, I do like the, um, the brie with the puff pastry. The cranberry, you, you put brie, cranberries, and uh, on the, on like the um, uh, phyllo dough. <laughs> we don't do appetizers, just starve until dinner, builds character. You know, as a kid, I don't think, I don't think we had appetizers. Well, no, there was a few dips we were fans of. Um, but I don't, I don't think when we did it at my mom's house. We had many appetizers either. Maybe some dips, but um, I don't remember. I don't remember as a kid. So this is why I'm so excited to go live with my mom next week, you guys, and talk food. I love it. Like, I can't wait. It's going to be good. We drink the ginger ale that you like. Yes! Oh, um, the Canada Dry uh, cranberry, and then there's the grape. Oh, my gosh. No, it's blackberry. Oh, yeah. That's delicious. Yes, so good. Oh, apple cider. Do you do the sparkling cider for like the Martinelli's? Mart what is it called? Martinelli's? That's the only thing I haven't seen on sale yet, but I know it's coming. So watch your ads because that is coming. Uh, we do a late lunch, so small breakfast, and then wait until lunch. Um, yeah, breakfast, I literally, I don't plan a breakfast for Thanksgiving, um, even with guests, uh, it's kind of like have cereal because it doesn't fill you and you're hungry soon after. Um, I don't focus on breakfast at all. Like not at all. Ooh, she plans to make a cider punch. I'm making a drink this year and I'll be filming it for you. Um, we, okay, if you guys saw my, in the summer, I did a video and Mandy in the making popped in. Uh, she helped me out. It was like a fun summer recipe video. That sweet cottage that we were in, um, we're going to be in it again. And so the Thanksgiving video, you're going to see me cooking in that kitchen. That kitchen is so cute. So cute. So, uh. Yep. All right. Okay. Gravy. How much gravy do we need? Because honestly, we run out of gravy sometimes. I think that's one thing we don't really think of, of 
oh, I might need actually a lot of this because people smother their plates with gravy. At least my family does. Let me know in the comments. Uh, let's see. Leave a three if you like are gravy people. You got to have gravy and you got to have a little bit more than usual. Leave a three in the comments so I can see. Oh, cinnamon rolls for breakfast, snacks for lunch because we're cooking. And then, oh, yeah, good question. When do you guys eat? And I know it could depend on when that turkey decides to finish. Um, but when do you usually eat? I can't remember what time my sister says we're eating. Usually we eat around one or two. That's usually when. I'm just so busy. I just don't have time to eat breakfast in the morning, you know? But I do put out the grazing board, the charcuterie board, and I just snack on that. Three, three, a lot of three. Oh, threes for the gravy. <laughs> Angie's like, gravy. Yes, yes. 1 p.m., 3 p.m. Oh, Heather loves Mandy. I subscribed to her because of the video you guys did together. Oh, she's the sweetest. Like, seriously, the sweetest. Dinner for 30 takes a while. Usually more like four or five. Yeah. Yeah, it just depends. I, you know, Derek's always like, okay, I'm going to leave a little more time because sometimes the smoker, if especially if it's cold outside or if there's a wind kicking up in our area, we live in a very windy town. Um, and when that wind comes and messes with the smoker, it could take longer. And so it, sometimes our turkey will go a little longer. Um, so he, he likes to try to get it going. So if we have to wait, like if the turkey's done, you can keep a turkey warm, you guys. Like cover it with foil, put a blanket over it, or like a, a towel. That thing is going to stay piping hot. So I'd rather have the turkey be done early than run late. Ooh, Carol, homemade potato chips for dipping into cranberry and cream cheese. Yes. Mm. We eat at 12 noon because we make it uh because we make it a two meal day. Yes, I agree. One I see 1 p.m. Yes. Okay, so gravy. Okay, sure. A little bit goes a long way, but not in my family. Like we don't like it too thin. We like we we like it thick, but not too thick. Um, so about a third cup of gravy gravy per guest, and have about one extra cup for every six people. So four guests, two cups, eight guests, four cups, twelve guests, six cups, sixteen guests, seven and a half cups. Hmm. There you go. That's a lot of gravy. Um, and then for, I don't know, do you guys have cranberry sauce? Are you big cranberry sauce people? Uh, leave four in the comments if you are for cranberry sauce or five if no. I'm going to figure out the poll thing so we could see polls, but I'll figure that out for next time. Uh, so four, if you are cranberry sauce people and five, if you're not, uh, I like the can just fine. And there's ways of sprucing up the canned cranberry sauce. You just add a little bit of like, you can add orange juice to it. You can add spices to it. You can chop up fruit, put it in there. Um, I'm actually making a video today. <laughs> I have so much to do today and more filming today. And we leave tomorrow morning, uh, that I'm going to be showing how you could dress up can sauce. So. Uh, yeah, cranberry sauce all the way. Yep. So for cranberry sauce, um, about prepared about one third to about one half cup cranberry sauce per guest. Um, if I have white meat, I'm definitely putting cranberry sauce on my white meat. Uh, <clears throat> so four guests, two cups, eight guests, eight guests, four cups, 12 guests, six cups. And 16 guests, eight cups. That's a lot of cranberry sauce. Elizabeth is the only person in the family who eats cranberry sauce. So I make it how I like it. Yep. That sounds right. 
Um, it's not hard to make though. I do have a cranberry sauce video. I'll leave it below for you. And it, uh, I add strawberries to it and it's delicious. It's so good. Oh yeah. Um, wine country says I like the Trader Joe's cranberry relish. Mm -hmm. That is good. That is very good. Okay. Rolls. I try not, I try to have like one roll because I don't want to get stuffed, you know, but my mom is making her rolls. I have that recipe too. I'll leave it. Oh my gosh, you guys, my mom's rolls are so good. Yeah. Not everyone has strawberries though. Yep. But you can add frozen cranberries in. Um, you could add, gosh, you can add anything in. You could add little chopped up apples in. Oh yeah. Um, so rolls. Four guests, six rolls. Uh, eight, eight guests, 12 rolls, 12 guests, 18 rolls, and 16 guests, 24 rolls. I say just plan for two ro rolls per person. So that's what I would plan, two rolls per person. Because I love it, like, like when you've eaten everything off your plate and you've got, like, fragments of, like, the mashed potatoes and the gravy and the cranberry sauce, that you could take that roll, smear some butter, like, cut your roll in half, Smear some butter on it and then just like wipe your plate clean with the roll. And then you got all that yumminess on, you know, like your like all the little bits that are left on your plate. You could just like wipe off with your roll and eat it. Oh my gosh, I'm hungry. Yes, I'm hungry. Let's see. Hello, Callahan. Oh, I'm so glad you've been with us for years. I make your cranberry salsa every year. Oh, isn't that good? Oh, that cranberry salsa is so good. Oh, no, um, Sam's Club does have their version of it already made with like the cream cheese and everything in. And it is good. It really is good. But I prefer like the fresh made. But Costco's already with the cream cheese. It's it's good. It really is. Okay. Yes, orange peel in it. Baking Mama of Three. I made cranberry sauce once with orange peel in it. Ooh, I yeah. Oh, yeah. I bet that is so good. All right. Nancy says, this year I'm going to start with a grazing board before the official dinner. Super exciting. Yeah. It's just like, just put your appetizers on it. Just, you know, you know, it's so easy to do. I love grazing boards. And it, honestly, my kids have tried more things on boards than anything like if it's on a board they'll they'll taste it they'll try it and they're surprised that they end up liking certain things so kids i'm telling you if you want to get them to try new things make grazing boards they will pick off of it so um most people have gluten issues yeah can have sourdough oddly enough yep Yep. Think of those guests. Make sure you know like what they can have and can't have. What about a mount on grazing board? Um, I mean, you can fill it up twice if you want. Um, I, I mean, it just depends on the meat. Like if you're going to do cheese and crackers and um, uh, like your salamis and stuff, I, I would do like half a side of a package. Um, I always have those meats on hand, guys. Like, like that's usually my lunch. Not like every day. But if you notice my grocery hauls, I'm buying like the the salamis and things and the brie cheese and the or the soft like laughing cow cheese. I love it so much. Like my lunch is usually a fruit um with a cracker, gluten-free or not. Um, and I'll smear cheese on it, put the meat on there. Um yeah, like I just with like how my body is, like I need like more saturated fats. And so I'm like, okay, I'll I'll eat this. Um any gluten-free dressing recipe. Uh are you talking like drizzle dressing or like stuffing? Um Trader Joe's has a really good gluten-free 
box stuffing. It is delicious. I've made it so many times. And my kids, when I told them it was gluten-free, they were shocked. They were, I don't know if they thought it would end up tasting weird, but it is like, it tastes like normal dressing stuffing to me. So that's what you're asking. Um, it's delicious. I am just dreading the deep cleaning. I know. I have so much more deep cleaning to do um, before we leave. I, I can't leave on a trip. Unless my house is like clean. I cannot come home to chaos. And so I've got more motivation under me because during Thanksgiving, my daughter and her husband are going to stay here. And uh, while well, they're here for Thanksgiving, so they could spend the night because they live far. So they don't have to like, yeah. So I have a lot to do. The kids have been helping. They've been super helpful, but you know. We do it all. But when Derek gets home from his business trip tonight, I'm putting them to work. So, yeah, Trader Joe's has more allergen-free stuff than any other stores. Yes. I wish there was one a little closer to me. There's one about 25 minutes away in both directions. I wish where I was there was, like, one, like, right here. And I'm shocked that there's not, you guys. We have everything right here. I'm shocked. Yes, it's an adult Lunchable, the charcuterie board. Yeah. Really, that's what I do. I do. I have my own adult version of a Lunchable. Like, I would say maybe three times a week. And I love it. I love it. Yep. Okay. Let's get back to how much food we need. All right. So, for your vegetables and uh, vegetable sides... Um, you kind of plan about four ounces of vegetables per person. Um, if you're doing a green salad, like an ounce of salad per person. Now I, we never do green salad on, and we're big salad people in our family, but we don't do salads for Thanksgiving. What number am I on? Leave in the comments six. You serve up salad on Thanksgiving or seven, no, no salad. Leave that in the comments. I would love to see where you guys are at with that. We don't. Um, and pie. <laughs> uh, a nine inch pie typically feeds six to eight people. Um, so four guests, one pie, eight guests, one to two, 12 guests, two to three, 16 guests, three to four. I think it depends on the pie. We have to have lots of pumpkin pie. Now, I only do one blueberry because there's only like a handful of people that like the blueberry. So I only do one blueberry. Um, apple, like I said, it depends on everyone's taste buds. Usually one apple pie will do it. But the next day, Boston, my 16-year-old, he's always like, is there more apple pie? So. Just depends. We'll do two apple pie, but pumpkin, like for just my little family alone, we need two pumpkin pies just for us. And then, so the whole Thanksgiving season, about four pumpkin pies, because then they want it later, like the next day. So, ooh, Carol, they're a must have for salad. That is so interesting. It's just, to me, I don't even think of salad. Like, it doesn't compute with me in Thanksgiving, like, at all. So. So was it six salad, right? Six was you have salad, seven, no. So if that's the case, there's a lot of no's for salad. Right? Did I lose count or am I right? <laughs> I have a brother-in-law that gets his own pumpkin pie. And then there is the pecan, and we make as many as we can afford. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Jonah could down his own pumpkin pie. Honestly, all my boys could have their own pie. Yeah.
Our boys, are, our boys are the same age and growing so fast. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> Makes me so sad. Um, all right. So cheese. We serve a lot of cheese. I love cheese. If you haven't noticed from my videos, huge cheese person. Um, so four guests, eight ounces, eight guests, a pound, 12 guests, one to one and a half pounds, 16 guests, two pounds. I love buying the big round uh, brie from the bulk stores. Um, and if you have more, like if you don't eat that whole round thing, it freezes beautifully, you guys. It really does. So I, I'm i all for it. But I do really love like the really creamy brie. Oh, yum. Um, so about two ounces of cheese per guest. Okay, so I have a lot of information on this. So for the let's go back and talk more appetizers. Um, the dip, three ounces per guest, and four guests, twelve small small hors d'oeuvres, and twelve ounces of dip. Eight guests, twenty four small hors d'oeuvres, one and a half pounds of dip. 12 guests, 36 small hors d'oeuvres, two and one fourth pounds of dip, 16 guests, 48 small hors d'oeuvres, and three pounds of dip. Now, um, I don't think I edited it in my Costco video that I just posted the other day. I may have taken that out. Those um, triangle spanakopitas, spana I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. You guys know what I'm talking about? Has like the feta cheese and the spinach in it. Costco sells them. They're on sale right now. I can't remember if I put it in the video or not. They're on sale right now. That is a good deal. So those can stay in your freezer. And I think there was like 36 in a box. I can't remember. So, and it already comes with like a dipping sauce. So that's nice. <laughs> yeah, uh, Peggy, mandatory your stretchy pants. Yeah. can't If you don't have stretchy pants, take your hair elastic. Wrap it around the button of your pants. Like you stick it through your the hole of the button of your pant. Do you guys know how to do this? Do you know this trick? Say yes or no. We could get really intimate right now. Like I said, we do shenanigans on my lives. I could show you how you do it. Okay, this just got weird. Okay, but I could show you how to do it. Like, just give me a second. Don't get weird, okay? Don't be weird. Something okay, weird. Told you we do shenanigans. What you do is you take your hair elastic, you stick it, fold it in half, stick it through the hole here. Okay. And then you wrap one around, hold on, wrap it around the button, stick it through the hole, and then you wrap it back around the button. And that's how you make your stretchy pants. I'm doing you a favor. So we're getting really up close right now. I'm doing you all a favor. Okay. Doing you a favor. So that was, that was fun. Gives the trolls something to talk about. So that's how you do it, guys. In case you didn't know, that's how I made a lot of my pants work for um, when I was pregnant and I didn't want to buy maternity pants. Especially when my last kid, I was like, oh, I'm not buying more maternity clothes. So. Yeah, so I that, that's what I did with my pants because I didn't want to buy the button up here. Told you there's shenanigans on the lives. Derek's gonna die when I tell him. He's gonna be like, "You did what?" I'll be like, "You mean yeah? That's what I did." That's what I did. <laughs> I like it. I love that, Erica. <laughs> Put a bowl of elastics out for guests. Ah, ah, ah. I love that. I love that. Oh, I did say it right. Spinacopita. I did say that right. Good. Yeah, it's on sale right now, at least in my area at Costco. So it's a good deal right now to get. Yeah. You guys are all laughing. <gasps> yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, let's get back. She did not just do that. Mm, she sure did. Okay, soup. Do you guys have soup on Thanksgiving? We don't. Um, 
I think there was one year growing up we did. But we usually don't have soup. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, soup. So about one cup of soup again for each guest. Well, if you want to make it an appetizer. Um, so four guests. Um, yeah, so if you make it, you know, like a quick starter or an app, yeah, maybe a cup. I guess it depends on the soup. Uh, so four guests, four cups, eight guests, eight cups, 12, you know, a cup, a person. <laughs> yes, the pregnancy. It works. It works, right? Oh, yeah. Um. Okay. Then... yeah so i'm i'm hoping you i'm hoping this was helpful because i know a lot of people are like i don't know how much to make i just don't um so right now are you have you guys been watching your ads have you been like perusing um i haven't checked the ads this week on um, I've only just seen at the bulk stores so I'm looking right now on Smith's and Smith's is Kroger so November 1st through the 14th potato chips Lay's potato chips are $1.99 that's good is it a 12 ounce bag usually it's a 12 ounce bag They look like they're the smaller bags. They're not being very clear on that. I bet it's the 12 ounce bags. That's what they've usually been doing for the $1.99. Okay. Cream of mushroom soup right now at Smith's is 99 cents. You guys, that sucks. That sucks real bad. Walmart has it for a dollar. Um, I hate that. I hate that. I, I'm like, I remember in the day, man, during, you know, before before covid um i wish you can get such a good deal on it and now it's like mm -mm, no bueno so right now um the sale is well it's a dollar 49 with card it's a dollar 49 normally you save 50 cents with your store card you get it for 99 cents see that's not a sale it's a sale for smith see, this is what i teach you guys this is what on my videos this is why i tell you you got to know your prices You've got to be vigilant because that's not a deal. They're normally a dollar at Walmart. So this sale is a sale for them, but that's not a sale. Like, so hopefully closer to Thanksgiving, like that will go on sale. Um, let's see here. What else am I seeing? And remember, you could buy cheese and throw it in your freezer, but cheese will last long in your refrigerator. Um Kroger cheese, $1.99 each with card and digital coupon. <gasps> Make sure you're watching sales like that. Um, so I'm not really seeing think, some big Thanksgiving sales yet. Kroger gold or red potatoes, five pound bag, $2.99 each. $3.99 a pound with digital coupon for their bacon. No, the sales are not looking good. All right, rice checks you can get for a dollar ninety nine. Um, it's normally two forty nine. Save fifty cents with your card. Oh, when you buy six or more, got to read those ads. When you buy six or more participating items, you can get the box of checks for a dollar ninety nine each. But if you guys watched. My latest Costco video, do you remember what the checks came out to be? The, the box of checks, three of them, the rice, the corn, the wheat. Uh, what did it come to? Like $1.70 something a box. It beat out Walmart, you guys. So if you have a Costco membership or know someone that has a Costco membership and you use Chex Mix for, you know, uh, or Chex cereal to make Chex Mix or um or for Christmas, you know, the fun, right? Reindeer stuff and everything, Christmas crack. 
um, get it at Costco. It's blowing everybody out of the water right now. So I snagged a box of it. So I'm not impressed. Kroger vegetables, two for a dollar. All right, that's actually good. That's normal, like no gimmicks. So 50 cents a can for the Kroger vegetables. Uh, Walmart's vegetables, unless they change their prices, if they've rolled them down, um, Walmart is usually 64 cents a can for canned veggies. It's sad that I know all this information. But I study the prices, you guys. I don't mess around. Um, yeah, they're still 64. They haven't slashed. And I've checked, like, I, I'll put in different zip codes for Walmart. Walmart is usually the same across the board, uh, across the country. So, uh, so right now, Smith's, if you have a Kroger, it's the same as Smith. Um, you can get your canned green beans, your canned corn for 50 cents a can. Where Walmart, my lowest price area is 64. So that is a really good deal. That's really good. So, um, oh, Karma! I bought four boxes of checks yesterday. Had two one dollar off two digital coupons and got a dollar back on Ibotta. So that was a great deal for me. That is great. Kroger canned veggies. Yep, two for a dollar. Um. Yes, make your own cream and mushroom soup. That's what I'm bringing to you guys in the new year. I know I was supposed to do that this year, you guys. This year was bananas for me, okay? Um, yes, making your own is so much better. Oh, my gosh, yes. Aldi's is cheaper. I wish we had an Aldi's. I wish, Susie, we had an Aldi's. Like, come on, Utah. Like, bring it out here. Um, so when I'm in the Carolinas, I'm really excited to go to Aldi's. Like, really excited. Do you guys want to see a video of me and Aldi's? Like, let me know. Um, I, I would love to know. You could put yes in the comments. Like, yes, Aldi. I don't know. Um, I don't know what number I'm on in. Or put a number eight in the comments. I think we're on the number eight now. Um, yeah. Because it's so interesting. All these is so interesting. Uh, when I was there during the summer, I was perusing and I'm like, mm -hmm. there was some savings there, but not a whole ton. So yeah, if you'd like to see me shopping at all these, I can totally do that. I wish, I wish Utah had it. I really do because man, the price on chips there is insane, like insanely good. So I was impressed. Um, but so far from the ad, you can get 99 cents a pound on apples, but that's pretty normal. That's standard. Oh, turkey with card. You can get a Kroger turkey for 79 cents a pound. Usually I've seen it 69 cents a pound. I'm wondering if that's our new price. I know it's a gamble. It's like, when do you get it? Do you wait? Uh, the chances of that going lower, I don't know. I think last year, once they set the price, I don't think it went lower until after the holiday season. I can be wrong. I, I, I can go back and look. But right now at Kroger, I'm getting 79 cents a pound. Maybe I could check Macy's. I have a... um. I have a turkey in my freezer already. So we're going to save that for Christmas since we're going to be out of town for um, Thanksgiving. So we're saving that turkey for Christmas Day. Yeah. All right. Let's see what Macy's, Macy's is expensive in my area. It's a grocery chain. I know people think of like the department store. It's so funny. Um, And yeah, so far I'm not impressed with these prices. I know we're like technically the first full week in November right now, but 
they, they got to get better with their prices if they want people to come into their store. Like, like they're going to have to fight for me to come in and purchase. Like, come on. Like, where's the deals here? I'm not seeing it at all. Pineapple. Canned pineapple, two for three dollars. No. Sweet potatoes, two for five dollars. Mm, no. Not impressed. I'm like, what are you guys seeing in your area so far? I mean, next week we'll probably really see the prices, but right now I am, I'm not impressed with any of these prices. Let's see, a dollar fifty for evaporated milk. Okay, but I think we can get it lower. I think we can get it lower. Um, yeah, and I'm not seeing an ad for turkey for them. Oh, what, what, what is this? Get ready to celebrate. Oh, I really want to make a video on this, you guys. What do you think of these Thanksgiving dinners? Like Costco is doing a Thanksgiving dinner where you can get this whole thing for like this insane amount of money. And so I've been pricing it out and like, would you like to see if it's worth the price or not? Because I really want to make this video. And I'm like, I don't know, does anyone else care or is it just me? Because I'm so like into food prices. Would you like to see if making it on your own versus getting these meal kits is worth it? Because I know some years like you just want to be like, screw it. Um, so for 119, well, $120, $119.99 serves six to eight people. You get a 10 to 13 pound. Mary's oven roasted turkey, 1.5 quarts of stuffing, one and a half quarts of mashed potatoes, one quart candied yams, one quart gravy, 0.75 quarts of cranberry relish, eight inch pumpkin pie, and one dozen stone ground dinner rolls. $120? And it feeds how many people? Six to eight people? I got to do some math. Meal kits, you never know the quality. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's a gamble. But if you don't have to worry about, like, allergies or anything, is that worth it? So, okay. So did you do the math? Is that what it is? Is that $18, $18 a person? Is that what you figured? Okay, let's say eight people. So basically $120 times eight divided. Why did I say times? 120 divided by $15 a person. Hmm. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, it, and so if you would like to see a video on if these kits are worth the money, if if you're like, if you have no time, your schedule is bananas, is it worth that money? Okay, instead of like going out to eat and getting the kits, I have uh, Costco's printed out, it's on my desk. I was gonna do a video on it and then there's their kit. Do you think I should make a video on this just to compare and see? Because I, it, it intrigues me. I don't know if it intrigues anybody else, but. Yeah, your time, your time is worth money. I agree. We just got a turkey here in California for 40 cents a pound. We're spending $25. That's good. Right now, what did I just see at Smith's? What was it? 79 cents a pound. Ugh, I'm not liking that at all. I really am not. Nope. So we'll see. Maybe next week's ads are going to be better. But right now, I am not impressed with the ads in my area right now. If you do box cake mix, it's 79 cents a box for the store brand at Macy's. Yeah, I'm not feeling it so far on my store ads. I'm not feeling it. So 
when you see a deal on one thing, scoop it up because so far I'm not seeing. What, what are you guys seeing with your ads so far? I would love to know. Yeah, it would be neat to know if you make a shortcut, if it's worth it or just make it. Yeah, I guess it just depends. Like weigh all, out all your options, right? If you have no time to cook and you don't want to go out to a restaurant, you want to eat in, are these kits already made, ready to go? All you have to do is warm them. Is it worth the money for the time? It could be. But if you like to be in your kitchen, you know, so it it's just adding up the ingredients, you know. I don't know. I'm I'm thinking $15 a person. But there wasn't even an appetizer in that. No, it was just the turkey, the stuffing, the mashed potatoes, the yams, the gravy, the relish, pie, and a roll. So it, it doesn't count an appetizer. That would be really cool if there was an appetizer in there. So, um, but there's not. Baking chips, two for five dollars. That's, but Macy's is always priced high. Like, that's nothing. That's crappy. No bueno. Um, yeah, so far, so far, this miss is bleak. So, Walmart could roll back on some items. We'll see. Um, yeah. Oh, where are you at? Turkeys here are $1.79 per pound. This is from the Crafty Preschooler. What area? You don't have to say what state, but like what area are you in? That's in. I, I hope they go lower. I mean, 79 cents a pound isn't bad, but compared to what we've usually gotten, like, mm -mm. yeah. When do you think they will have the best turkey deals? Honestly, usually we're, we see them um, like next week. Like if if the stores are already not luring you in next week with the new ads for a turkey deal, then I would be concerned because, see, I wish Winco would put their ads online. It drives me crazy that they don't because it was this time last year they actually had, right? I'll have to go back and look at the video or the receipt from last year. They had a deal. Oh no, it was this this week, this time last year, they had their turkey deal. If you bought a hundred and something dollars worth of groceries, you got um the Jenny O turkey for free. So and I don't know if they're doing that right now because they're too far from me. And uh, to go check. And they don't put this stuff online. So yeah. So Next week, man, those stores better be fighting for us to come in. Yeah. If they're not, then I would be concerned. Like, seriously, you want us in your store. Like, you need to be luring us in. Uh, if next week's ads are no good, it's too late for them to lure you with the turkey. Like, it just is. Now, um, if the store has ordered too many, if they've got, like, an abundance of turkey, and this is what happened with Smith, which is a Kroger, um, they were trying to sell those bad boys off. They, I don't know if like a shipment of turkeys came in too late, but they were trying to sell those bad boys. They, they were doing like buy one, get one free. Like, yeah, it's crazy. So, um, what even Popeye's offering cooked turkeys this year? Whoa. Whoa. Did I put in that Costco video, uh, Costco smoked turkeys? They were asking $4.99 a pound. I can't remember if I put it in the video or not. Um, their smoked turkey. I loved getting their smoked turkey for like Friendsgiving if we don't want to uh, cook one up. Usually, years ago, they were like 30 to $35. And that is spendy for a turkey. But it's already smoked, done. You just are warming it through. So for Friendsgiving, we would get one. 
Now they're asking basically $5 a pound for one of those. And it comes to $64 on most of those smoked turkeys at Costco. Uh, puke. Like they're going to have to drop the price of them. I don't know unless someone's got like someone's loaded and they're going to Costco and they're like, yeah, I'll get that. Like glad you have money to burn, but I wouldn't, there's no way they're going to be selling a ton of those this year. There's no way that is more than last year. So if they don't sell them, then that store specifically will start having a sale on them because th those aren't going to move. They're not. They just won't. Oh, Steph. Stephanie says we're sitting at $1.18 to $1.28 per pound right now. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Blah. It's crazy. Um, So if you need help on tracking all of this, I do have a grocery price book. It's hopefully I my comment is pinned in this chat let me know if it's pinned you guys um i thought i pinned it but see derek usually is on and like posting the links for me so um is my comment pinned? I'm looking on youtube oh i'm not seeing it pinned nice kimmy you had one job let me redo this. Let me put it on here for you. Um, so I have a grocery price book that helps you track the savings. You guys, I started tracking my groceries over the years, actually during the holidays. And, and then I started putting it like on a spreadsheet. And then it just went to the everyday besides the holidays. And then so I took how I made my spreadsheet and created the grocery price book. And it definitely like saves you like i think right right now we have to be vigilant and how we want to use our money how we want things to you know stretch so keep track grab a notebook grab whatever but um be vigilant when it comes to tracking your groceries this is how you're going to know when these stores are like fighting to get you in if a, a deal's a deal cuz like right now i mean they want you in their store next week your flyers are going to be um coming out with the thanksgiving deals they're they're fighting for you to get in and they're going to be very tricky with how they word things um to get you in to start buying so um be vigilant and knowing if that is truly a good deal because most of the time it's not like it's just not i thought i starred this So what is that? Oh, well, that was on StreamYard. So I guess starring doesn't mean much. Let me do this here. I have to, and now I'm on YouTube. Okay. I pinned it to the top. So there it is. Um, and then if you, if you guys have popped in later, I am working on a, um, ebook for you. I was hoping it'd be done for today's show, but it's, it's not. So get, let, give me by Monday. You will have this free ebook that I am making for you guys, because I want you to take all these tips that I've been giving you over the years and everything. And I want you to be able to um, have them and apply them. So I'm working on a Thanksgiving guide for you. It's going to have a shopping guide, turkey tips, hosting tips, recipes, leftovers, like a ton. Like it's, it's really, it's turning out really pretty. So, um, so I'm working on that for you and then you can snag it. So come back to this video later. If you're watching later, the link is below. Um, so in the she's in her apron planner, uh, we actually have a Thanksgiving guide in there. So you, this, uh, for 2024, you're getting Friendsgiving and you're getting, um, Thanksgiving. So two, and then this year, uh, for next year, I added a Christmas Eve dinner in and a Christmas day dinner. So, um, cause I noticed that like, well, we do both. So those are in the 2024 planners. So check them out. Um, yeah, the covers for 2024 are so pretty. The new dividers inside are so pretty. Like I had a hard time deciding which, like what we're going to be covers and which ones we're going to be dividers. Cause I'm like, oh, I like this one too. Like for October, you'll have to check it out for October. Um, the divider 
is like these beautiful daisies, kind of fallish. And I was going to make it a cover, um, but then I didn't. And uh, I, I had, so I was like, okay, but it's got to be in the planner somewhere. So I made it October because my birthday is October. So I made that uh, October. It's so pretty. But, um, and then there's Easter. So for all your planning, it's in there for you. So uh, yeah, you'll have to check it out. Um, yeah, the covers this year are so pretty. I had a really hard time choosing. So, so if you need help getting on track, this is the planner for you. I heard the sweetest thing. I, I was watching a podcast. Who was it by? Oh my gosh. I was listening to a podcast the other day, just driving along, listening to it. And they, they were talking about routines and planners and I love planners, obviously. Right. And, um, these ladies were so sweet. They named my planner. And I was like, what? And they said it lacks for nothing. Holy crap. That was so sweet. Yeah. So I have sections in there to help you menu plan, shop your shelves. So you'll have to go check them out. So I, I left a link there for you. And, uh, there may be some Black Friday surprises. Mr. Toodles and I got to sit down and figure that one out because there might be a Black Friday su surprise. So we want to do that for you. So we're working on that. Keep you posted. Yes, I, Mary, I so want to make aprons. Like, yes, that is a goal. That really, really is. <laughs> that really is. Oh, you're an October 1st birthday. That's awesome. I'm the, I'm on, blah, 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 words are hard. I am the fourth. So. Oh, I'm glad, Gail. I'm glad you're here with us. If you just jumped on, you're going to have to rewatch. Like I said, there's shenanigans on the lives. Yeah, trust me. It's worth it. You'll have to go back and see what they did. Um. Aw, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Peggy. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay, can you give any tips for a newbie to cooking? I have a family of five to cook for this Thanksgiving, and my family has never been chefs. Who really is? Like, I have been trial by error. Like, if Derek was here, he would tell you about the first time I ever made him a casserole. It was bad. It was really bad. Um, So... Okay, family of five, if it's just you for Thanksgiving and if a turkey makes you nervous, roast a chicken. You can put that in your crock pot. Um, if, you're, if you're nervous to make stuffing, like dressing is pretty easy. It's just like chopped up celery and onions and, um, and you saute it in butter and then you add all these seasonings in like poultry seasoning and sage and, um, and parsley and you mix it with dry breadcrumbs and uh, you can sometimes we add mushrooms in. But if you're nervous and don't want to try to make something that you've never done before, box is great. Box is fantastic. I really like the Trader Joe's stuffing. Theirs is so good, but they're so expensive. Oh my gosh, it's really spendy, but it's delicious. Hi. I'm right here. How was school? I'm live, by the way. How was school? Good. Yeah. Don't rush yourself. Pace yourself. Make it simple. If it's your first time, make it simple. If you want to try a recipe that you've never done before, make it prior to Thanksgiving. Uh, I made Rachel Ray's um, apple onion stuffing. It was delicious, but honestly, what her recipe calls for, for um, it was either sage or poultry seasoning, one of them, too much, too much. Ugh, it was not good. So I learned if when I make her apple onion stuffing, I cut whatever that seasoning is like in half. So, but like, yeah, stovetop is delicious. We love stovetop. Yeah. Ah, Karen's birthday is October 2nd. That's awesome. All these October birthdays. Um, 
best storage containers for leftovers. Um, I mean, depends how fast you're going to go through those leftovers. Um, I like the glass containers by Snapware. They work out so good. Okay, with the new mic, can you hear dogs barking? How can you not hear that? Can you hear? And could you hear the dogs running upstairs above me? I would love to know. No? Really? This new mic is pretty good then. Oh, that's good to know. You can't hear that. Can you go up there and tell them I'm on a live? No, well, they're saying no. Never mind. They're saying they can't hear that. Yay, this new mic I got works really good. Sweet. There's a lot of dogs in this house. I have two. And there's two that live upstairs. Lots of dogs. Okay, so I hope you guys got an idea of what to plan for um, for Thanksgiving. Boston. Boston, can I show them? Boston. You're gonna make me cry. This is so good. Okay. Wow, Boston. Okay, Boston is taking this art class. And they had to do, they had to take a picture of somebody in the family or just somebody, important someone important to you. And from the picture, they learned how to draw. Um, and can you pull up the original photo? Yeah, sure. I'm going to show you the original first. And then I'll show you this. This is Wow, Boston, I'm really impressed. This is amazing. Sorry, guys, time out. Wow. I'm going to frame this. Okay. This is my oldest son, Jonah. I'm trying to do it without the glare. Um, oh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, it's because of the light. Right? Yeah, the light. Okay. So this is the picture. This is Jonah. He drew this. Wow, Boston. <laughs> oh, where'd it go? I'm impressed. I am so impressed. Wow, Boston. Okay, we need to get this in a frame. Did you show them upstairs? No, I haven't yet. My like, best drawing I ever done. Go though. safely put that somewhere. I'm gonna show upstairs first. Oh my gosh. I told you it looks better in person than that. Mm -hmm. oh. oh man. Sorry guys, that got me. That's amazing. Good job. Good job, Boston. Right? My kids can draw. I can't. I can't even draw a stick figure. And my kids are amazing drawers. They do such a good job. Yeah, get a good matting so that it doesn't get covered by the frame. Yes, thank you. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Holy moly. He's been working really hard on that because with him missing uh, next week of school and it was due right before Thanksgiving, so he got it done. Wow. I know, I can't believe he's 16 either. I've been watching since he's little. I know. Both your boys are handsome and so grown up. Thank you. Oh. He looks like your brother. Boston looks like Ben. Yeah. Wow. Sorry, guys. Oh, that got me. He got me good. All right. 
So if you don't want to serve turkey, you can substitute it um, for ham, chicken, Cornish hens. You could do little Cornish hens. Um, you can do tenderloin, roasted tenderloin, pork. Um, I know people that do lamb. Um, so do you, do any of you do anything different than turkey? I don't know if I've missed it in the comments, but let me know. Do you, um, do you do, do anything be besides a turkey? I would love to know. Um, yeah, Boston could teach me how to draw, couldn't he? He's been, that was unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they all miss, everyone misses Jonah. He's so, out of all the pictures, he's like, I want one of Jonah. Oh, Vicky says pot roast or ribs. Mm -hmm. That is interesting. Hi, how was school? Did Oma get us? She went to the salon yes, today, she... didn't she? Apple cider donut, anyone? Oh my gosh. I saw my old friend Sola from third grade goes to Willow Creek. Very cool. Oh my gosh. Mm, I need to learn and bake these. Okay. Here you go. After school snack. Have you ever had an apple cider donut? It is delicious. Ooh, Lori says we've done duck before, as well as smoked turkey. Yum. I've not, no, I have tasted duck. I have tasted duck. No, um, just put it up on your shelf and we'll get a mat with it so it's not touching the glass. A viewer here gave that suggestion. I think it's great. So put it up high. Don't let it fall. Let's protect that. Um, I'm doing oxtail. Wow. Derek would be intrigued by that. cider donut i usually eat something on every live with you guys have you noticed that <laughs> but um we're 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 turkey though we do the turkey um christmas though it changes we'll do pork turkey or pasta I don't think we've done fish. Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember the show Everybody Loves Raymond when Deborah wanted to get in on the rotation and she was going to do the fish? Or she did make the fish and uh, Raymond wasn't paying attention and he was loading the dishwasher and he threw the fish in the dishwasher. <laughs> she won't match. So yeah, do you guys ever do fish on Thanksgiving? Never done it. Never done it. Um, awesome, awesome. Now, um, I'm seeing some questions that don't pertain to what we're talking about. There are on my community tab, I, I'm going to be doing a product, like me being productive, getting things done. And I'm answering your questions. Like I'm going to be answering questions. So if you want to know about certain things, go leave an, a, a question in my community tab. I also did it on Instagram. It's probably gone now. And on Facebook, it's the same question. So um, I could answer your questions, kind of get to know me again. Um, you know. Didn't Frank choke on a fishbone? Yes. Yes, he did. <laughs> oh, and then one year, Marie did a tofu turkey. <sighs> That's disgusting. And I loved like they was it Ray who ordered this big Thanksgiving meal for later. And um, and then later that night, everyone just ended up being in the kitchen eating. Yeah. You don't tr like you don't start diets before a big holiday dinner. You just don't. Uh uh. My mom is vegetarian and she made us maple glazed salmon for Thanksgiving this year. That sounds delicious. I love maple with uh, salmon. Yum. 
Jonah is doing good. He's doing good. I talked to him today. FaceTimed with him on Sunday. Yeah, how's it? He's good. Um, is he still doing training? Well, he finished that a while ago. Yeah. That is giving your OCDs. I can't point. It's opposite. Oh, that's giving you OCD. It's crooked. Okay. Huh. What? You want to straighten that? That's driving Cindy crazy. Sorry, Cindy. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know why it's crooked? You just earlier today when I was wiping down the stove, there was a spot on the sign and I wiped it. There you go. All leftovers are being eaten today. We are not cooking anything new today. I'm making a ham sandwich because I'm starving. We leave in the morning for the Carolinas. And between yesterday and today, we've been going through the fridge. And then later tonight, I will go through. And I will find anything that can be put in the freezer and throw it in the freezer. Okay, you mean nice. So. Butter. Knife, um, dishwasher is clean. Those are the sharp knives. I use dishwasher. I need to buy more butter knives, you guys. You mostly need forks. I just, I bought forks a few months ago and I just bought spoons at Sam's Club. But now we're at a butter knife. I, I swear silverware just yes. accidentally gets thrown away. And now we need more butter knives. That's the next thing I got to go. But I swear I bought butter knives last year. I don't know. But I think things get accidentally thrown in the garbage. How about you? Let me know. Um, my extended family gets super overwhelmed cooking Thanksgiving, but they won't delegate. Any tips to encourage them to let us help with the burden and expenses of cooking? Oh, I would just keep talking and be like, you know what? I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring this in this, and just say, I'm bringing this, like, point blank, period. Um, and if they if they don't take your money, just Venmo them, like, or or leave some money on their counter or their bed stand if they won't take it. Just kind of leave it there. Um, they need to accept the help because I'm sure it stresses them out. Um, like I would just say I'm bringing this and this and then when you're there you can help them but if you're doing hosting Thanksgiving and your wallet cannot afford it there is nothing wrong saying hey to like your family um, you know I mean Times are tough for everybody right now. I mean, money is tight right now. It's not like no one's got a clue on what's going on, right? And just say, hey, can maybe everyone pitch in $10? You know, I think it's fine to ask that for sure. Um, yeah, so check out, I'll leave a link when this is all over. I'll leave all the links to everything we talked about today down below. But this is Feeding the Masses by Sydney Klein. It's a great cookbook. Um, she has recipes in here. She helps you with how, you know, to feed a crowd, um, you know, portion sizes. It's it's really fun. It's a fun book. Um, I really enjoy it. Like I said, I've had this for five, six, seven years. I don't even know. I don't remember. It's been a while. This is great. And then uh, look for the ebook um, after this weekend, the Thanksgiving ebook, free download for you. Uh, it's it's been really pretty. Um, we just had to buy new, two whole new sets. Is why I keep any plastic fork knives and if they come from fast food. Yes, I, my gosh. But, but I noticed the other night I caught myself. I almost threw away a fork. I was grabbing things and like, have we all done that? We, I think we've all done it. And I've seen bowls. I've seen like our plastic bowls in the trash can on accident. I think, I don't know. I just think things happen. They get tossed in. Um, I know that. Yeah. Couple of her bowls just broke or something. Leave it as you leave and don't 
Oh, is this about the money? Leave it as you leave. Don't had it. Yeah, don't hand it to them. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Um, yeah, give them a give them a gift card and a thank you note. Love that, Angie. I love that. Um. Oh, they say hey, Shaylee. Oh, her first name is Shade, and her middle name is Lee. Shade Lee. Shade Lee. Shade Lee. Oh my gosh. Shade Lee. Wait a minute. It's two o'clock. So you did hang out with friends, Boston? No, I had early out today. Yeah. And then my school with lunch for buses. Like each school ends at like one fifteen for me because the buses arrive at one ten. Oh. So. It's just for lunch, so people can have some lunch. Um, that book would be great to have. I feed our family of 18 every Sunday after church and then do several ministry meals and events. Yeah. So, guys, like, start, like I said in the beginning, like, start leaving notes in your planner or on your phone of when you have a family meal, uh, get togethers. Like, what did you notice? Leave notes to yourself. Like, I noticed we didn't have enough of this or we ran out of this. Um, start tracking things because especially in the summer too, when you're doing family trips, because it will save you time. It really, really will. Amber says, hi, kiddos. Hi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a cool name, Shade Lee. Shade. Her name? Shade. Her, her name is Shade. Shade, and her middle name is Lee. Shade Elise. Shade Elise. Sounds like my name, Shade Lee. Yeah. Very cool. All right, friends, the kids are home. We've got to pack for our trip. I've got to film some more things for you guys before I leave. <laughs> I've I gotta do one more load of laundry. Oh, Shay Lee, come here. Come here. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. What? Your um and then so I still have some filming to do. I got to clean. One more load of laundry. Pack. But I have my suit because Derek's been out of town. Um, I left my suitcase on his side of the bed. One, well, it felt like somebody was there. So as I've been like doing laundry and going through my wardrobe, every time I'm like, yeah, I want to bring this on the trip. I I've been throwing things into the suitcase. So now I can then take what's in there and pack it up. So, um, but I told everybody, like, do not overpack clothes. We're gone for, like, two and a half weeks? Two? Three, 18 days. 18 days? So, I'm like, we're going to places that have laundry machines. Like, let's not overpack, okay? There for two weeks and three-fourths. So that's more than half a week. I can't wait till we get to the cottage. My hair is all terrified. Look at that. That's how. That's why it looks weird. Um, I always bring an extra pair of clothes just in case, because you never know what happens. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um, Kelly and Felix are going out. They're going out just for the weekend for the family to be together. So. And then, yeah, and then next week, so bring in the school supplies, you know, because they'll be missing like a week and a couple of days of school. So, yeah, he's got to bring his school computer. Oh, we need to photocopy your history book. Shaylee's got school to do. So we, we're bringing school with us. But I'm not bringing her big textbook. We're just going to print out the pages that we need. So, yeah, much to do. So thank you for joining me today, you guys. Um, hit the like button. There's 200 of you on right now. Hit the like button so we can let this crazy YouTube algorithm know that, like, you loved it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so good Good luck this week getting ready for Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, my ads are crappy this week. Hopefully next week they better be good. Because the stores are fighting for us to get in. 
So hopefully we see better deals next week because that's the week to do it, to go shopping. So yeah, if you see me in the Carolinas, both South and North, I'll be in both. Come say hi. Come give me a hug. I love it when I bump into you guys. I bump into you guys a lot in Utah, outside of Utah, in the airport bathroom. Was her name Caitlin? I met Caitlin in the, what airport was it? Was it the, um, what trip was it? Dallas airport. Oh. I believe it was the Dallas airport. I ran into Caitlin in the bathroom. So <laughs> if you see me, come say hi. All right, guys, good luck with shopping, finding your deals. Keep track. Know when you're getting a good deal, okay? And uh, happy planning. And uh, check the links in just a little bit for all the fun stuff, okay? Thank you. We'll have safe travels. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And I will talk to you guys soon. There will be a video Sunday. Um, and then my I'm planning to go live Tuesday next week with my mom. So join us. And I'm going to dig through the pictures. I'm going to find pictures from Thanksgiving's past and uh, share those. So it'll be a fun live with my mom. I'm excited. So, all right. Thanks for joining me and we will see you soon. Bye.